Welcome to the Figure Zone. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss out on the action figure pre-orders. And a quick update, the Mondo Limited Edition Masters Universe cartoon style trap jaw figure went up for pre-order and sold out pretty much before I can even get him up in a video. And he looks freaking awesome. This is the coolest one and I missed him. Prepare your wallets. The pre-orders are coming. By Art Ada, A-D-A-H, quarter one of 2024, 146 bucks, and it's Ada Wong from Resident Evil. Now she's got a head sculpt with movable eyes, a second head sculpt with a smile and movable eyes, rubber body, I assume it's a Chayu doll body, or it could be some kind of Vicky secret, not totally sure, eight hands, outfit, the boots, shoulder harness, and belt are all made of real leather. Two pistolas, grapple gun with two hooks, and a stud. She looks great. Two friggin' head sculpts. Each one has movable eyes. That's a pretty friggin' awesome thing. And 146 bucks. That's it. That's a pretty good deal. Every figure now should come with the movable eyes. It's just why not? It's so much more posing possibilities. Star Ace, I know, Rocky 3, Clubberlang, quarter one of 2024, now the collector's edition is $259, you get a head sculpt, a seamless silicone body with over 30 points of articulation, six hands, two boxing gloves, shorts, socks, shoes, robe, towel, championship belt, and a stern. Now they also have the deluxe edition for 296 bucks. Comes with all the same stuff as a collector's edition, but it has a bonus head sculpt with the mouthpiece and a full set of street clothes with the jacket. He looks pretty cool. Starry did a good job on this one. Digging on it. They did a great choice here for the body. That's pretty cool. Sometimes they make the bodies a little bit funky. Go with the deluxe version because you could pretty much make two figures out of the one set. You can make one figure with the boxing gear with the head sculpt with the mouthpiece and get another body pop on the normal head and you got yourself a street clothes clever lang do it fool if you're enjoying the video series do me a favor hit that thumbs up so youtube shares the video with more people if you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the action figure pre-orders if you'd like to help support the channel it won't even cost you a dime use my sideshow collectibles link in the description below you don't have to buy the figure in the link but any purchase or pre-order you guys make they send me some referral rewards points now this is not a promotional video, I'm not getting paid by any of the companies creating or selling these figures. And if you guys use the Sideshow Collectibles link, I will give you a shout out in the next video. Thanks so much everyone who's used it already, you guys are mother freaking awesome. Three, zero, Rambo, First Blood Part 2, John Rambo. December of 2023 to January of 2024, and he's 200 bucks, 11.8 inches tall. Now he's got the head sculpt with the red bandana. Muscular body with it looks like some seamless arms. 11 hands. Full outfit with a belt with some hidden dagger pouches. Bow. Quiver. Five arrows. Knife. Sheath with sharpening stone. Two push daggers. A boot knife. A rifle. M60 E3 machine gun. And ammunition belt. And an M73 LAW and rocket. Figure looks pretty good. Head, it's, it's not bad. The body looks pretty cool with all the freaking scars. I wouldn't leave his arms post too long in those positions right there because it'll probably end up ripping the rubberish arms going on there. Unfortunately, that happens a lot. He's got some great freaking weapons going on too. Definitely looks like Rambo. So they did a pretty good job on this. I'm digging on him. Sideshow Collectibles, The Lost Boys, David, quarter three to four of 2024 and 285 bucks. Now he's got two head sculpts, neutral and a vamped out head sculpt. Body with three swap out feet options. He's got the boots with the spurs, some clawed bare feet and some hanging bare feet. He's got 10 hands, outfit with a faux leather, 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 leather jacket, a wine bottle, Three takeout boxes with different insides, a cave ceiling hanging accessory, and a 
Stead. Yeah, he looks freaking awesome. They did a good job on this. You got two head sculpts. The hanging upside down option is really cool. I'm totally digging on this figure. I think Redman made one recently. And there's also a couple customs out there which were extremely expensive. So yeah, I'm totally loving the figure. 285 is not a bad price. And Sideshow Collectibles can make some cool figures when they're not busy making superheroes with funky mush mouths going on there. I don't know what they were thinking with these things, but yeah. Yeah. He drew first meme. Also in the description below, I've got a link down there of one of my favorite trusted sellers. You guys can save some cash in your action figure purchases. And there's also an Amazon affiliate link, a Teespring account, Facebook group. Join up, a lot of cool people, a lot of cool figure talk. So let me know your thoughts on these figures in the comments below. Who are you going to get? Who are you going to pass on? And who do you want these companies to make next? I'm hoping for Ivan Drago and the rest of the Lost Boys cast. I pity the fool that don't click on the video to the left or the video to the right. Do it now, fool. And remember to stay in drugs and keep off school. To the next video.